So what you want to do is start telling Facebook what happens only for a certain amount of money. So, so right now, nah. so what you want to do is you want to drive them um, all over to, to one, you know, to one streaming that's the oh, okay, I see. Uh, I see. If we don't do that, then you'll never become popular. Yeah. So. You gotta be one. Let me know Okay, so besides each other, then if you'll have a guest here, besides each other, you can kind of This is your cue. When you whatever, whenever you hear that cue, whenever you hear this, you know that your mic is on. Okay. okay. And um, anybody's phone has to be low. It has to be sound will go back back through the back of the mic. No, no, you know, the you can cut it. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Eventually, you'll be watching her actually more local. So what happens is you'll have the local app that will put your phone on. You'll be watching local just like the button. Okay, love this stuff. You good to go? Good to go. All right, the only interference we're going to have after this, the only stupid interference we're going to have after this is something in the hallway. <laughs> but um, just make sure y'all look in the room directly the right way. It look funny. Okay. All right, here we go. And... You need to be muted. Hello, everyone. My name is Tracy. Call me Tracy Love Minds. I'm on a Coyote Man show. We are Transatlantic Radio. We are here to introduce our show to you this evening. Besides me, I have my co-host. <laughs> co-host. With the mouse. Charles there Parker Jr. A.K.A. the author of a goddamn book. I'm loving this. Makes my voice sound so sexy. <laughs> Woo! Transatlantic Radio is here to give you the most latest up-to-date news and social lights here in America and in Africa, especially Ghana, which we were going to bring into this show. Hey, listen, I'm going to stop the show for a second. This is something we could do this time because we are actually practicing it, right? Okay. I need your chair to, to go a little bit that way towards okay. him. Like, yeah, so so that that way when you're looking, you're either looking at that camera or you're looking at him. Okay. In some kind of way, I was getting some type of weird side action, okay. which would, would make you look fun. But you sound good. You know, I look so. funny on the side anyway. He would be on his. 
Well, even if y'all want to switch sides and see what looks better, <laughs> that's fine too. You know, um, next time I'll be on there. Okay, we'll switch. We'll see what we get. Yeah, but whatever way y'all gonna be, y'all gonna eventually have to stay. Yeah. So it's like if y'all wanna take a look just to see how it will look, y'all could go ahead and take that look, you know. It's nothing wrong with you. I'm talking about from a visual standpoint. Yeah. The problem is some kind of way you are looking like you're looking over here. Oh. And that's what's making, that's the only thing that's making something look like unrelaxed. Yes. So, other than that, but she sounds good. So, oh, you know she's she not great. relaxed. Yeah. I mean, you know she's not, but you know. It's just a visual. It's, yeah. So, well, let me take this chair and just move it like this. So, that, that way, it looks like y'all are either having a conversation or you're having a conversation with that camera. And and, and that's that was the only problem at all. And don't forget the app. Don't forget the app. Yeah. And it's the Coyote Man Show Network. Don't forget the Coyote Man Show Network. Yeah. Download the app. But y'all did say, y'all did yeah. sound good. That sounds good. Y'all yeah. sound good. You just said the Coyote Man Show, but they, yeah. but y'all voices is perfect. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it's like it's, it's perfect. Soothing. It's soothing. <laughs> yeah, it's it's soothing. And, and that's can y'all see the camera? Oh yeah. Okay, all right. So that's what I make sure. The camera I'm looking at. That's the, that's the camera. Okay. So when you talking to the audience. You're looking at the camera. If you're talking to production, you can look over here because they know you're talking to production because you said it out your mouth. Okay. If you if you if you're talking uh to this young what's your name? Your name. Oh, Charles. Charles, if you're talking to Charles, you look directly at Charles, you know. Okay. And then you can laugh, look back at the camera, whatever you want to do. But other than that, everything, everything is amazing. All right, yeah. so let me see. You want to start over? Yeah, we start over. Um Make me sound that's bad. that's what the day is about. You know, the day is about just getting everything, yeah, working right out right. any kinks if you decide you want to sit there. You know what I mean? Like any little tiny things. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll sing on. I just wanna let you know. And you can pretty much tell out your earphones how your voice is sound without either moving up, without you pretty much can because how you sound is how you sound directly. All right, so here we go. We're gonna do the real thing. Y'all, y'all definitely noticed the hand clap, so I don't gotta go do that no more. I'm muting y'all right now. Oh, <laughs> uh, one more thing. One more thing. By the time you hear the music, everybody can see you. Okay. In real time. So mm -hmm. that means that y'all might be smiling, talking to each other, whatever you gotta do. They, they at that you. point, they can see you. And then when we're about to go off to, they still looking at you. So until I say cut, you entertain the audience in some type of fashion. Okay. Okay. Let's get my good side. My good side. Hey, that's, that's not my good side. And the cue okay. is, and the cue is to know they looking at you if you heard music. Okay. You know. There you go. Okay. Good evening, everyone. My name is Tracy, aka Tracy Love Minds. Coming from the Coyote Man Show on Roku, Fire Sticks, also catches on YouTube. This is Transatlantic oh. Radio. I'm here with my co-host. Whoa! Y'all said the goddamn love. Charles Falcon G. How y'all doing today? You're going to have a good time. Sit back and relax and you might learn something. All right, now. We're bringing the best to you from America. We're hoping to get in connection with Africa. Ghana, that is. We have a whole lot of programs, a lot of stuff going on. We want to hook you to to get your knowledge based on. Right now, this evening, we're going to talk about what Transatlantic Radio is going to be about. We're going to have call ins. We're going to be live certain places. We got uh, another host that will be out there. His name is John Sander to show you in and out of here and in Ghana. We want to promote that small business, oh, your yes. small business that's going Bring on. Bring your business over. Black-owned business, that, that's oh. what it's about. 
um, here and in Africa. Um, we also want to get your input on different hot topics we're going to be talking about. We're going to talk about some stuff that will make you go like this. Oh, it's going to be controversial. It's going to be real controversial, and it's going to get you bullied. You might not like it. You might not might like it. But you're going to watch it. <laughs> That's what you're definitely going to do. You're going to watch it. And remember, opinions are just like yours. Okay, mm. so this is going to be an adult show, 18 and under. Sometimes you got some children, you might want them like, push better them not bring your bed. kids. Mm -mm, don't bring them, don't bring them because this is not mm. about the children. This is the cognac and cigar hour, please. And I need my no, cognac. Okay. We're we messing up right now. Oh, this is this that's is, okay. Next, next show, we're bringing the cognac. Next show, next show, please. <laughs> Most definitely. So this evening, I'm going to talk about the different programs right now. We got, uh, of course, Transatlantic Radio. We you got, got us. Yeah, us. That's really all <laughs> you new, need. Your new dynamic duo. <laughs> we got um, Youth Court of Baltimore. That's a nonprofit that I'm co-director in. We to take the young youth from Baltimore, Maryland, to Ghana, Africa on basically uh, culture to, to learn who they are and what they about. Because we know how the streets is. Oh, we from Baltimore. Did we tell you that? We from Baltimore. We right here. We from Baltimore, the, the place everybody like to talk about. Oh, yeah. yeah. We from here. And how long have you, you been doing that, Trace? What? Youth Corps? Baltimore? Youth yep. Corps? Youth Corps since uh, 2017. We've been nice. um, doing Youth Corps. We've taken the, we don't want the uh, smart young men that's, that's 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 um, already lawyers. We want the real people. Yeah. We want the real young men. We want to get real the people, We want entrepreneurs. We want, to, we want to get the people. Who, yeah, we want entrepreneurs who may not have that chance to go outside those four corners we call the blocks. Right. We want to give them a different culture, something that they can achieve. Most definitely. It's it's no different than many of programs I've been. We about want that. the real men. Yes. The real men, the real young men. And Baltimore has been played the third, what, the third city of crime or whatever. The third yeah, whatever. Even though some of, it, some of it's a little overrated, if you ask me. Whatever. So we want to um, get them what they need here, and we want to take them to a different continent. We're taking them to a different continent to find out who they are, because a lot of black young men don't know who they are, but they're going to find out. That's the beautiful thing about it. When That's you take right. somebody out their comfort zone, you truly find out who you meant to be. That's right. That's right. We also going to talk about we're going to go around to town to uh, promote small businesses, black owned businesses. Yes. Also here, we're going to um you want to be an entrepreneur yourself, working for somebody else. We we'll, unfortunately we know the Rona, Corona, Smona, whatever she called. Oh, man, you got a Mario. <laughs> you know, Touch. too much going on. So we need to make things happen for ourselves. Man. Because remember the people, uh, the group of people that went to North Carolina, bought all that land, they yeah. made their own community. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what yeah, I'm mean. I mean, shoot, I need to buy some land so I can, so I can tell people stay the hell off of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's what I'm telling them. And this is one thing I want to talk about because we're going to get a little background on Tracy and myself. For those of you who didn't know, shout out to the shout out to the Coyote Man. He making it sound good, look good. Whoa! Style and profile, dude. Shout out to Paige. You know? And you got to realize, born and raised Baltimore City. Came up with two parents, you know, divorced now. You know, that's stuff that happens. You got to love the fact that out of a shy kid from Baltimore who went to a private school, four championships in wrestling, bronze medal in Germany for freestyle, combat vet along the page, QRF did a lot of rescue, VIP security, reconnaissance, still made it was in the military for 10 years, came back to his own city, police officer for nearly 15. Got to love it. And now, utilizing those benefits from the VA to go back to school and get his AA degree for being a paramedic and utilizing this to start a security firm where not only is he going to be able to have the gun, but he will also have the helping and healing hands as well. Now, tell them a little bit about yourself. Um, about me, um... 
I was born and raised here in Baltimore, born in Edmonton Village. I don't know. Boo. <laughs> I'm the only child of my mom. My parents got divorced uh, when I was young. Um, my mom and my grandma, who grandma raised them right here. Grandma raised me. I get a little bit of background about myself. You don't nobody know. Um, I basically, uh, from age 11 on up to 17, was in and out of group homes. Yep, I was in and out of group homes. From there, at 16 years old, I graduated high school. I got married young, had my children young, became, got a bachelor's in psych. Now I'm a nurse. Now I'm here. So I know what it is to be that young person out there with nobody and nowhere to go to. I had a great social worker. Her name is Beck. I'll never forget her, Miss Beck. She showed me the way. And I'm here to show the next young generation the way. Because if you don't have somebody there with you, you lost. Oh, yeah. That's, you that's, lost. You got to have that I think way. that's what we lost in the community overall. Guidance, yes. and and I think a lot of people got into the selfish, mm -hmm. as Frank Dudley would say. Y'all gonna hear me mention him a lot, so get used to it. It's that self pity prison. Yes, you don't know, look at it as that child is my child. That child is a representative of me. Yeah, there there's many a times I've said on my YouTube page, it should be a it should be a crime against humanity that how many black boys when I get up to the Eighth grade on ten percent can read on level. And Do you think that's uh, a Baltimore thing, or you think that's a United States? Thing? What do you think? That's a national epidemic. National. That's a national epidemic. I asked one lady. I said, "How can you?" I said, "Forget all the guys you date, you marry, and you have sex with. Don't tell me you don't love black. Men, you love black boys if you're not teaching. Yeah, that's, that's impossible. Yeah. That's impossible." And, and when we look at this, and I have no problem with the girls getting education. Go ahead, girl, get your education. Just make sure you use it for the community. But this is the one thing I always said. There has to be an emphasis on these young men. you got to push them forward. Military, police, fire, STEM. You're not going to get any part of respect nor reparations until you show the, show this nation once again, you need me to protect you, so pay me what you owe. Mm -hmm. You really think we're getting reparations? Uh, yeah. might, get a, might get a couple of bottles of liquor, some food stamps, <laughs> you know, a little bit of Carolina or something. Else, a little bit of that, so. That's yes. another thing we want to talk about, the disparities amongst us and when I go, when I went to Africa, I've been to Ghana. I've been to Ethiopia. I've been, to Ghana, I've been, to Ghana. I've been, I've been there. You've um, literally been to the oldest place on earth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're also going to talk about it in the show, but not right now. We're going to talk about the disparity between us and people, our brothers and sisters that come from Africa over mm -hmm. here. We're going to talk about the disparity, disparities between us. And I think a lot of that. We got to make it come Do you out. think that's one of the reasons why there is a separation between Black Americans and Africans? Yes. Yes. And it's coming through right here. Media. Oh, yeah. This is where it comes from. This is where we learn everything from. We learn so, everything from media. And, it, and it's funny because when you talk about the media, right, how many years growing up? Because everybody in the room, shoot, you an 80 baby, 70 baby. Some people more, but I ain't going to tell them you. But <clears throat> some of you babysat Jesus. I'm like, well, love, but I'm going to keep it down. <laughs> but remember how commercials of Africa would come up? You'll see starving babies with yes. bloated stomachs, flies yes. everywhere. Yes. Flies on their face. And then when you actually go to these places. It's beautiful. I mean, they got better, have better houses than you. Hmm. You don't know. You don't know. Hell? But that's what they taught us. That's what we learned. And, and it's part of that indoctrination that if you separate the black American from the continent, you separate his source of power. And what do they think about us? <laughs> we lazy. We hoolums. And I thought that, because I work with um, um, Africans on my okay. job, and I thought that is how they just feel about it. They tell me, they say, well, <laughs> When we in Africa, we see nothing but y'all robbing and stealing, y'all drugs, y'all drug dealers, y'all this and y'all that. That's the majority of what they think about us. And um, it's funny, mm -hmm. when I go over there, they think the same way. I just thought it was 
from me. Yeah, I think Mm-mm. it was weird. Oh, like, as soon as you see the kids, as soon as you see the kids, they like, why are you sacking your pants? <laughs> <laughs> why are you wearing your hot pants? <laughs> <laughs> give the give the Negroes a week and they're doing the same damn thing. <laughs> you, know? you know, they get all the rap names wrong. I'm Gucci Snoop Doggy Dog. <laughs> but you know what's funny though? It's so funny. Yeah, man. it was funny. When I'm trying to rob me, the damn fool had the gun pointed back. Oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> but to be honest though, we on the real tip. They think about us in one way, and the whole is not just Africa. The whole world think about Black Americans like this. You know, yeah. we like hate but, on the con- we, but, we're hated more than any race. But here's the crazy part: where the Black Americans go, the diaspora pops. Yeah. If we get reparations, hey, we could go to Haiti and be like France, pay what you owe. Mm-hmm. Like Jamaica, come on, we're gonna go pick some British ass now. Give, give us back the dollars. <laughs> Exactly, and, and and then another thing that is so funny that I haven't been my uh, partner Paige. He's been in the military. He's been all over um, the Israel. He's been he's in all these different places. And when I do my outside travel, and I look at people and I'm watching them, I'm like, "Hey, they imitate me. Yeah. They imitate us. They imitate." The black man, they imitate the black woman, black female with the earrings. You know how we did in the eighties, big hoops. You know, you know how we have our hair and oh, no. our gestures and how we do things that's imitated oh, all no. around the world. I was to, shocked. You go to Ghana, other places, and they're wearing the three piece suits, yeah. lovely suits. I mean, they look like traffic lights, but lovely <laughs> suits. I mean, oh, God, he said, <laughs> "Oh yeah, I said that. I get nice suits, but you know." Brother, if you if you're as dark as me wearing lime green, it's gonna you know. Well, hey, that young women over there they got pink and green hair like we have, you know. We you know I got nothing to say about that, but ain't nobody trying to get the infinity gauntlet on that. (laughs) I mean, we're imitated all around the world and then my my partner Paige was telling me when he went to Europe, white women, hair like us, going like this big hoop area. Remember the names in that? None of the names in the hoop, y'all. Who who from the 80s? 80s and 10s. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They do, yeah that's, they do it. that's a damn shame. You see, like you go to Russia and they got the hoop earrings with yeah. the names in them. Except their names got like 25 different letters in it. <laughs> yeah, be hanging off halfway there. It's a damn shame. Uh-huh. You got like half a bar of gold on your ear. And, and then you ever see the uh, the young white boys got that big hole in their ear with the big earrings. That big, where do you think they got that from? Oh, they got it from Africa. Oh, culture. okay. Oh, <laughs> so it, it just we're copied all around the world, but we're what's, hated. Everywhere. What's the what's the old saying? Often imitated, not quite duplicated. There you go. And then it's funny because we'll even tell you about some of the touchy subjects that people are going to be afraid to speak about. Mm-hmm. Black relationships between black men and black women. Oh! I'm gonna need my 1738. I'm gonna need some XO. <laughs> So y'all yeah, gonna have to bring a fan here because I'm gonna need a scar. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna talk about those relationships. We're gonna have some controversial stuff like do black women think they own black men? Anyway. <laughs> that's another Are black what? men thirsting for white women? One thing we're not gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> One thing we're not going to do in the show, we will not down each other and we will not give them what we want. Find out on the next episode of Dragon Balls. Like I'm sorry, <laughs> it's going to be kosher. It's going to be okay. Yeah, it's going to be kosher like a, it's going to be kosher like a synagogue. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we have a lot to talk about. So for Transatlantic Radio, I want you all to write your notes down, what you want us to talk about. Bring it to us. No, email it. No subject too, be- too broad. <laughs> Transatlantic Radio 01 at gmail.com. You can email us some oh, of yes. your thoughts of what you want to talk about, what you want to hear. 
what you want to say, what you want us to tell you, where you want us to go, because we're not just going to be stuck and in the studio. And I want you we're to gonna remember. We're going to be out there in your face. And I want you to remember, you asked for it. In your face. Mm -hmm. You got a small business that you want us to showcase. Uh, uh, host John Sanders will be there to advertise your, your business. Oh, That's yeah. what we're about. We're about bringing community, each other. That's together. what, if you got a barbershop with one chair, in your basement? In your, your basement. basement. Hey. If you got to put people in the bar stool and spin it around, we will support you. Hey. Honest work is honest work. Hey. At least, for God's sake, at least keep the alcohol on deck. Clean your clippers, clean your clippers. <laughs> this is why it's all about us coming together. We're going to start. Coming we're going to start. Trust me, we're going to start. We're going to talk about things like the Gray Falcon Initiative. Shout out to the Professor Cerulean Gray out there. In the Twin Cities, it's an initiative for a 52 page initiative for young black boys to get into police, fire, military, STEM, even though it's specifically for young black male youth. There's even articles in there for what the black females roll up. If, if you're the most agreed in our culture, why don't we have more black female lawyers to get the guys who are falsely in jail out? I don't we have more black women teachers, even if even if that boy has to see a black face, at least let it be yours. Mm -hmm. Nobody teaches the community better than you. Mm -hmm. So for our next show, it's gonna be really good because uh by then I didn't actually get it over with. I can relate to it. It's over with. But so for our next show, I'm gonna be ready. Many have tried. All that failed. This is me. The undefeated of the Oh, just to let y'all know, he's younger than me. I'm old. I look good, but I'm old. <laughs> How old? <laughs> Let's just say I'm having that big party this year. I'm having that big party this year. Let's just say that. <laughs> <laughs> so... We will uh, our next show on Transatlantic Radio. Don't forget to email us transatlanticradio01 at gmail.com. Don't forget to check out uh, your Charles, YouTube. Oh, yes, YouTube? Charles Falter G on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, we, we're going to be controversial everywhere we go. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, download the app. Yeah, the Coyote Man app. For everyone, all my friends that's watching, Charles, friends, and family, you got to download, download the Coyote app. Man show. Yes. Yeah. And, and give a round of applause to the Coyote Man. <laughs> He's making yeah. That was pretty good. So, so that that's the type of flow, you know. Yeah. Um, that's that's, that's good, you know. Um, from what I've seen, everything was good. Um. Y'all look at the camera a couple of times, too. But other than that, um, everything was smooth. And, and, um, I think the music was, was y'all. Yeah, you know? I like that. Um, <clears throat> it's a nice feel. So, so when we come back, um, we had already, we probably would already got together to make sure it was close. But the, and the, and um, as far as the show, um, segment it out. All the stuff people talk about segmented out <coughs> and to about to about four seconds and save save the most juiciest segment to start and to end. So that way if you decide to bring on a guest, the guest should come in the third part, meaning that the guest can sit there in the chair the whole time, but you force the guest to participate in whatever show you have. Oh, yeah. Because because it's not the guest show, it's, it's, it's your show. And um, your job is not to 